And this is a topic certainly always tough to hear about from streamers, several of which in just the past few months, especially the past few years, have talked about this, the swatting and police raiding issue that is very apparent on Twitch and all streaming platforms, but especially when your top streamer on that platform, XQC, speaks out about it, it's something to listen to. In a recent stream, X actually went on to talk about how several times he and his roommates in his house has been raided by police to the point where he even feared for his life, that it was happening on so many numerous occasions and you never know what's going to happen when police officers or a SWAT team or whoever it might be law enforcement wise shows up to your doorstep hearing a variety of threats. Now obviously eventually they did cooperate with the local officials but you never truly know what is going to happen as he goes on to call these effing idiots are the reason why he has been raided so many times something that no one knew about not many people at least knew about fan wise and viewership wise until XQC finally admitted it okay you know what you know what i did it to myself okay i'll take full accountability okay? i did it to myself okay by gambling in the first place i can't really give you guys any any, any proof okay but the main reason why i wanted to move back to canada in the first place a month ago before any of this even happened okay we we were getting raided by uh the police station uh, at rates that made absolutely fucking no sense. Uh, almost every day, uh, the uh, the police came to our house uh, with a full squad uh, because of you know fucking idiots. Okay, and I was generally I was generally scared that I was going to die. And then uh, it didn't make sense to me, and I got so scared I just said I just want to go home. I want to go back to Canada. So I started reaching out to all my friends in Austin. And uh, I, I telling them about what was going on and asked them uh, what they thought about it. Um, and then uh, some other stuff happened that was uh, even worse, way worse. And I was like, I just want to get the fuck out of here. Uh, my parents were worried for me or whatever. Guys, I'm not trying to play victim. I just feel like I, I don't have any other choice than to leak it. Otherwise, people don't think that I, I'm serious about this. XQCL. Uh, it's like a. Uh, everybody keeps saying Kappa. Everybody keeps saying that they don't. They, they don't believe me. Everybody, and I don't want to give the reward to the person who, who or the people that were doing that. But and now I can't. My back is against the wall. And you know what? That's my fault because uh, of all the giving shit. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I had to fucking, uh, you know, I had to give some sort of some sort of proof or some shit. It's. Um. The police here is uh, very professional, and they're very smart. And um, they, uh, after the first uh, big ass raid, they um, they would give us like heads up, or whatever, and they would like clear the house, or whatever. And I, I found a way to remain on stream and not say anything at all, and nobody ever noticed anything different. And the stream always kept going. Uh, every time it happened. Um, they opened the doors, uh, I gave a visual signal, and they cleared the rooms, and they cleared uh, all the angles in the room. Make sure nobody was hidden, or nobody was hurt or harmed, so they could uh, finish uh, the, the, the house with or whatever. Excuse and nobody me. ever noticed. Uh, it happened uh, a crazy amount of times. It's, uh, I, I, can't, I, can't, I don't even know how many times it happened. Okay. Um, okay. Um... Yeah, any time that I looked to my left and I was like, um, yo, yeah, um, yeah, the food or whatever. Yeah, I mean, there was a fucking, there, you know, sometimes there was full, full fucking police squads. And something later he even talks about had even given him nightmares and, and was a cause of a lot of other uh, mental issues as well. The clip I'm about to play for you guys, a bit of a sensitivity warning. It is very, very difficult to actually listen to in the background of a stream where it seems like you hear XQC um, fearing the police showing up, thinking they had. Some people out there thinking he had woken up from a bit of a nightmare from all of the occurrences with these police raids. So I want to warn you guys, it is a very difficult clip to listen to in the background where you hear Felix talking and his roommate saying, hey, you, you can sleep here. Um, just something very, very hard to hear. Felix, you're okay. You're okay. 
I'm gonna back up so you can search. What? The huh? trusting the system is my problem. Come here, come sleep on this bed right here. Many, many, many I'm about to end anyway, since the cops are No, I just can't even, like, find her pockets. Um, yes, I have to help her out. Huh? <clears throat> She has to get okay. off the bed. You, no. what, 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 oh, trust me, I'm not doing it. I just need an ID on her because if she's going to tie us to you, you know, I need the ID. If not, okay. then uh... I, I, her vitals are. And this is something that opens a door on the uh, the struggles that streamers go through that you never fully expect. We have hear, heard several swatting stories out there in recent times. You know, cover people like Tifu, Imperial Howe. There was actually a couple TSM members and numerous streamers who have dealt with this. Summit 1G, the most recent to speak out about the issues of moving his parents, moving his dad out of his newly bought house because of viewers trying to swap them. You never expect someone like XQC to, uh, you know, you, he, he fronts so well. He hides it so well to have these kind of behind the scenes issues where it is causing him these kind of disturbances, it is truly disturbing. And it's a constant reminder of how sickening it is that people will make these fake calls and force these raids and swats upon Twitch streamers. And now you truly see the pain that is causing them that they try and hide on screen so, so much. Uh, it's a crazy story to hear, especially when you are the, the face, the number one, uh, if not a top streamer on Twitch like XQC, a very difficult story certainly to talk about. Um, but until next time, hope you all take care of yourselves. All right, drink up, drink some water, drink some coffee. I'll catch you back here next time. Take care.